Okay, so what is the date? Uh, 18th? Uh, April 18th. April 18th, 2023. Uh, this is about crime. Now, for one thing, we've been, we've been hearing all these reports on all these various news broadcasts or whatever about how everybody's thinking that California is just, it's a crime paradise and everybody gets let out and they, <laughs> no responsibility. Well, my personal belief is uh, and we live here. that might be true to some extent, but not if you're white. Or a male. Or a male. Or a female. Or a white female. Anyway. But we are from L.A., of which they show the very, uh, a rash of smash and grabs, uh, all these other different crimes, people following people home. That's bullshit. Listen, I've been in trouble several times, and I know for a fucking fact that if they get called on me... It tell it goes for I don't know yeah. thirteen and a half seconds before the motherfuckers are up on me. I never got away by by speedy retreat. <laughs> they, they're always there. They're always around. They're There's never always. a time when there isn't a cop aware or close by. You pick up a rock and hit one. Yep. They had the, you know, the crime wave of the 90s, and they hired fucking Buku, every idiot fuckhead that's, uh, and they're well, still all working, yeah. still all getting, and they're stupid. But it doesn't matter. There's a bunch of them, a lot. So now, L.A. County, who had their shit held together by threat of repression and fear, and, and that was exacted through the cops. Now, all of a sudden, everybody's uh, able to go run around and do all this tomfoolery with no kind of fucking consequences. consequences? Yeah. I don't think so. No. Here's what I think. I think that the city council and the mayor and the cops and all these fucking, basically, uh, I just named most of hell's minions. Don't forget nonprofits. Uh, Oh, yeah, and all the nonprofits, they all sit there, and they'll be sitting in their car somewhere, drinking coffee, and right across the street, uh, a group of dudes run in, smash the jewelry cases, grab their shit, and run out, or whatever, TVs, pampers, who fucking knows? But, uh, and the cops just go, hmm, uh, and go back to drinking their coffee. And, then they go and because in our experience, if there was any kind of upsurge in any crime, they would, and they have for 25, 30 years, immediately flooded the streets yeah. with cops. They will fucking pull, throw so many in an area, you couldn't shit without getting a ticket. So I do not believe this is there's any kind of lack of resources or ability to do this. Plus, now we're in Ventura County, but it, when we were in L.A. County, either one of them. I don't know what people think about police, but they are not your friends. <laughs> even close to poverty. These yeah, motherfuckers hire in at uh, white collar wage, starting things with bonuses and all the bennies overtime. and everything overtime. And I, I can't, I, I honestly can't even conceive of even a first year cop not making a hundred k. <laughs> they 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 put in the they put in the overtime for one thing they're doing twelve hour shifts so the time by the time they work three shifts they got a normal forty hour week coming they still got a couple more a lot of them do four day shifts of twelve hours there's eight hours of overtime right there then they do extra shifts some of these guys are so sprung on dope and fucking coffee and whatever Red Bulls or whatever that they. Uh, are pulling like almost 24 hour shifts 
there's been a lot of cops that I know have pulled 24 hour shifts by, by you know, one shift at, at those times. Because they come But earlier. there's some of them that do it a few days in a row. And so now tell me what's the difference between some fucking crazy ass tweaker or some fucking cop who's all geeked out from the confo locker fucking rip-offs and he's been up for four days you when you see a cop pull you over and his fucking eyes are spinning around his head like bugs bunny after he got hit yeah yeah that guy ain't exactly rational just fucking cop to it and do whatever but there's no crime wave no. this is some now if you admittedly if you let people do shit then they will do it but this is letting them they're not and they're just not stopping them because they have to have a crime wave. but when it comes to white crime i fucking guarantee it that that like this no bail thing the bail uh, tell me what the entire state of california bail bonds industry what they're just going to meekly pack up shop and fucking shutter yeah. their windows i don't think so these are people that are used to dealing with crooks and criminals and they're not going to get take getting pushed around by a bunch of weak ass woke motherfuckers you know what i mean hey look i know we all need to be sensitive but if you got a dick in your pants and you're wearing a dress you're a fucking fag p- pussy anyway in which case uh, uh, uh bail bonds cops even other crooks are just gonna beat you in the face and take your shit so what America needs to realize is California is was was the most populous state, but not every person thinks like this. The only time they all agree on anything is when you're talking about a homeless person, in which case then, you know, I was I've been to prison, you got a, a fucking giant encyclopedia of rights. According to popular consensus, we don't have any rights. So like these stories and tales of homeless people doing crime, you know, maybe you got one fucking anomaly instance, after, but you don't have this crime long, <laughs> because for one, yeah. homeless people are too busy trying to live to go plot a crime and rah, then you also don't have homeless uh, treasure pots waiting they're not <laughs> staying on the street there was one story we saw where they busted these homeless people with hundreds of thousands of dollars of Worth shit stuck in a wall underneath an underpass yeah, I don't uh, think so. Uh, so what are they doing? Waiting until the prices <laughs> go up? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no. But meanwhile, they're fine with that tent and fucking people throwing shit at them or killing them or, or whatever. Them or you know whatever, what I mean? Yeah. But they, and then you got the cops. I don't know them. why everybody oh, thinks that every homeless person is fucking stupid. Or crazy. Because if you see a homeless person that's been on the street for a year or more, that motherfucker has skills that you do not. I defy 95% of America to fucking survive after a month of being on the street. No bathrooms. No No bathrooms. People hate you. You fucking get rousted. No sleep. No standing, sitting, lying, sleeping. You can't sleep. Good luck. Yeah. And when you can't go put in your little pink bunny slippers to go open a Eat refrigerator door and pull out a nice cold drink. Or just go into your nice little bunny slippers or, and go pee-pee. Or be in air conditioning when it's, I don't know, the hottest temperature on earth. Uh, or yeah. if you're freezing. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to be able to go there's no, there's no, there's, there's no dumb homeless people, and they don't see the point in committing a crime unless you're going to for sure have a pay do- payday. And even then, uh, it's got chances go. are because, you know, they, you'd be identified too quickly. They, uh, everybody's got to watch how the homeless people. If you put a homeless person in jail for sitting too long somewhere, Oh, that motherfucker's never getting out. Right. But meanwhile, you could go do a fucking... A robbery or something. But the, 
the homeless it, people it, don't so it. how does it that the homeless people don't escape detection but all these blatant broad daylight multiple person violent crimes do I, I just have a hard time believing that the cops are in a different part of the city. Yeah. You know? So. They have to have some crime. These cops here <laughs> are all getting paid enormous amounts. And they are so bored. They have the latest toys. They, have, they are bored and have a stupid fucking smash testosterone boys club where they all want to prove to each other how tough they are. By picking on people. And what they need to do is stop, get out of the fucking gym and pushing those fucking uh, little baby weights you got. Stop wearing little kids' T-shirts to make yourself look bigger than you are and fucking put their stupid-ass nose in a law book and understand what laws they're supposed to be enforcing and what they're not. And don't forget the and Constitution. And fucking understand their boundaries and start developing some fucking people skills because not in... By everyone's account, there's no reason for the cops to be smarmy little snotty pricks for every instance they ever stop anybody. We got to do something. Yeah, we got to do something. Look, motherfucker, you know this thing is a bullshit call to begin with. Just because some idiot made it means you got to respond to it? And Cut it out. They're supposed to be the professionals protecting society. Of course society's fucked. That part of it was screwed long ago. Yeah, they don't protect It's them. like this They're one cop told me once. Hey, these people don't like your cod around here. Yeah. And I'm thinking, well, for one thing, I'm a native California. But I told him, I go, yeah, you know, most of the internet watching world views LAPD as a shit ton of murderous scumbags. scumbags. So who are you to judge me about my kind? I mean, I might be poor, but I'm not fucking evil. So, you know, there's the difference. And we try to be honest as possible. You know what's really fucking evil is when they come out, they do some sick shit to people. Sick. Sick. All the way from killing them to torture to whatever down to fucking just robbing them and fucking their life off. And and what they get is... uh, Not even... They go home... And they tuck their kid into bed and they kiss their wife and pet their dog and everything. It's like, oh, the fucking uh, cleavers. And then they go out the next day and do more sick shit. That's evil. 